All right. Hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials Basics. My name is Shauna. I'll be guiding you through class and you may see Moose popping in and out of the screen, the new puppy of our household. All right. So a couple of things you want to be prepared for today. Um, one in the first section here, we're going to be going down to the floor for some glute bridge and some uh, lower abdomen work. Um, if you can't get down on the floor for any reason, if you have a bed or a couch nearby that you can lie on your back, that's also a great um, fix for that. And if for whatever reason you're somewhere that, hey, that doesn't work. If you're here live with us, wait to the second part. And or if you're here on the recording, you can always fast forward to the second part as well. And in that second piece, we're going to be utilizing these long bands. So you're going to need your long band to be available and a little bit of weight if you have that to use. All right, we're going to go ahead and start on our feet. So if you aren't coming down to the floor, at least join us here for the first part. Go ahead and come on up to your feet. All right, we're gonna start with our spinal cord breathing, a little bit of stretching, and then we'll make our way down to the floor. So you're gonna walk your feet in so they're just underneath the hips and we want all your toes to be pointing straight ahead. Go ahead and bring a soft bend into your knees. And then on your next inhale, you're gonna bring your arms around, forearms and palms come together and then tuck yourself down into a ball, pull the belly button in, tuck the hips under, pull the chin to the chest. When you're ready, we're gonna breathe in, lift the chest, Engage the glutes, see if you can gently turn the head up towards the sky and open through the chest and shoulders. And then on the exhale, revert back down, exhale, round in, pull the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift and open. Make sure you engage the glutes at your backside here, protect that low back. Couple more, exhale, close down. Inhale, open. Keep that soft bend in the knees. Exhale, close. Let's go through one more. Nice deep breath in. Expand the arms. Engage those glutes. Pause in the top. And then final exhale of this cycle. All the way out. See if you can exhale just a little bit longer than normal. Chin down to the chest. On that next inhale, go ahead and relax the arms down and come on up to standing. Very nice. From here, walk the feet just outside the hips. Bring the arms out to the side, soft bend in those knees. And now we're going to start to rotate our torso, turning the head, looking over one shoulder. And then nice and smooth, coming back to center, stay rooted into those legs, and then rotate the other way. Good. We're going to go three times each side, never forcing and watch that shrug. So keep the shoulders back and down. Nice and gentle, taking it around. Back to center. Second time, second side. Good. Back to center. On this last time, I'm going to invite you to interlace the fingers, reach straight out, and now with the hands interlaced, we'll come crossed. And think about pulling this arm across the body. Just a slightly more than you normally would. Then back to center, same thing, second side. Kind of think about pulling that arm across. Gently rotate, peer over that shoulder. Knee back to center and relax. Good job, just kind of shake it out. All right, next we're gonna open up the hips and then we'll make our way down to the floor. Just left me a little present here. So you're gonna set your right foot forward, step your left foot back and make sure your feet are about hip width apart here. And the goal is to have this heel relaxing down. This is your left leg back. Take your left hand, cross to the opposite shoulder, grab onto this elbow here. So stand nice and tall. And then when you're ready, we're gonna push that back hip forward. So notice that front foot, heel is planted and my shin is vertical. I'm just hinging my hip back and hinging forward. Push it back. As I push forward, I'm trying to squeeze this glute, just get a little opening right here on the front and then gently rotate towards your right side. Good, so from the front, it looks like this. I rock the hip back, rock the hip forward, squeeze that glute, and then gently rotate. So one more time, hip back, hip forward, squeeze the bum, rotate, and try to peer over that right shoulder. Very nice, go ahead and relax those arms down. In between sides, let's add a side step and we're gonna swing the arms back and forth. Rotating those palms forward as you swing them back. Crossing the hands over as you swing them forward. And then see if you can start to alternate which arm comes on top as you swing them forward. Couple more. Over and 
and out, over and out. All right, let's open up the hips on the other side. So now your left foot forward, nice and solid, right foot back. I can have a little cat and dog show here in a second. Let that back heel drop down. And then again, taking your right hand over to the left shoulder, lift up out of those hips, rock the hip back, rock the hip forward, squeeze and gently rotate. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning. Rock back, rock forward and rotate. Remember to squeeze the glute of that trail leg. But maybe one more time, back, forward, Moves us like, where are you going with my buddy? <laughs> and shake out of that, very nice. All right, let's repeat that sidestep arm swing and then we're gonna make our way to the floor next. Go ahead, remember to alternate which one comes on top and see how we're rotating back, turning the palms forward, nice work. Good, training those shoulders to sit back and down, opening the front side of the chest. Good, couple more and shake it out. All right, very nice. Let's grab a drink of water and then we're gonna make our way to the floor or if you have a couch nearby or the bed, somewhere that you can lie down on your back. And this piece is gonna be roughly 10 minutes, a little bit less more than likely. So you can support yourself however you need to lower down, bringing one knee down to the ground and then the other. And we're gonna make our way onto our back. So as you lie down onto your back, just slowly lower yourself down. Think about pulling your belly button in towards your spine as you lower yourself down nice and slow. And then once you get down here, there's a tendency to have the shoulder blades kind of out and away. So see if you can kind of pick up your torso, set one shoulder blade back and under your body. And then same thing, other side, just kind of readjusting that low back. Good, from here, let's start with your left leg. You're gonna pull the left knee towards the left shoulder and extend the right leg. Good, and you wanna think about actively pushing your left thigh down and let's roll your, I'm sorry, your right thigh, let's roll the ankle around on that left foot. About five circles, one direction. Good, and then switch, five circles the other way. Very nice, once you finish those circles, same thing, other leg, extend the left leg and gradually pull your right knee towards your right shoulder. And now we're focused to actively push that left thigh down. Good, hugging that right leg in and let's go ankle rolls now, five times each way. Good, switch directions. And when you finish that, go ahead and relax. We're gonna bend both legs with feet flat on the ground. The so knees are bent and keep your feet about hip width apart. From here, we're gonna to start to windshield wiper our legs. So you wanna just nice and gradual, think about bringing your legs towards one side of the body, lowering those knees down and then bring them up and across, same thing other way. Legs go across the other side, just nice and gradual here, getting some movement through the hips and have a little bit of awareness what's going on with the low back. So think about rocking your spine in towards the ground. So rock the hips back, push that low back towards the floor, legs towards one side, back up, and legs towards the other side. Very nice. From here, we're gonna go double knee to chest. So instead of one leg in, you're gonna pull both legs in towards your chest, hug them in, and then gently rock yourself side to side. Moose is gonna help me with my hat here today. <laughs> Good job, Just keep going with that double knee to chest. All right, we gotta find your chew toy. Uh-huh, thank you, Moose, not my ponytail. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, from there, finish that double knee to chest, and then we're gonna stay on the floor. We're gonna go into our glute bridge next. All right, so taking yourself down to the floor, actually just stay down there. So after you finish that double knee to chest, you're gonna keep your legs bent. You're gonna put your feet flat, about hip width apart. And then from here, we're gonna be nice and controlled, arms out to the side. And we're not trying to see how high we can bridge our hips, just gradual. So you're gonna focus on rolling your hips back, pushing your low back into the floor, and then just nice and gradual, start to lift the hips up off the ground. So think about coming up like one segment at a time. 
and then don't see how far you can go once you get a couple of few inches off the ground and then take it back down nice and controlled lowering it back down rest there for a moment and then when you're ready we'll go into that next one driving those hips up pausing in the top and then gradually lowering down very nice can take about another 30 seconds there let's see find where my clock went to okay where'd your rope go <laughs> great job all right let's go one more bridge here gently drive that bridge up pausing in the top and then relax it down all right beautiful go ahead and take a pause Feel free if you need to do anything here, hug the legs in, anything like that. From here, we're going to start to do some exercises for the lower abdomen. So what we just did with those bridges was more for the back of the hips. And now we're going to start to work the lower abdomen. So what are we going to do for that? We're going to do some tuck ups. So we're going to tuck our legs into our chest. See if you can ever so gently can try to lift them up like your hips off the ground. And you'll slowly lower your legs down to the mats. Go ahead and pick them back up, pull them into your chest. See if you can lift the hips ever so slightly. And then as you're lowering them back down, we're really focused on bracing through your midline. So you want to think about pushing your abdomen out, trying to keep the pelvis pushed into the floor as you lower your feet back towards the mat. Very nice. And again, lifting them up and in, pulling them towards the chest. And then this is where you're really doing the work as well. On the down, I'm bracing. I feel my abdomen pushing out. Get about one or two more there. Tuck them in, try to lift those hips slightly and then lowering them back and down. So last time, I lift them up and gently lower. And go ahead and relax from there. Very nice. Take a little bit of a break. You wanna go back to those windshield wipers. You're in the knees side to side, up and across. Same thing, second side. Very good. All right, we're gonna do that twice more with the glute bridge, the tuck ups, and a little bit of stretching. Right, we go here in about 20 seconds. As we start to get the hips, or excuse me, the hips higher into the bridge, you can also pay attention what's going on at the upper neck. So instead of having that neck extended, think about pulling that chin in towards your chest. All right, just rest your arms out to the side. If you're not holding a puppy away from your head in three, two, one, here we go. Rolling the hips, spine into the floor, lifting those hips up. Pause in that top position and gradually lower back down. Good, we're gonna spend about 45 seconds here just working on your own rhythm. No, up, pause, chin to the chest. Down when you're ready. Good. 15 seconds left. Breathe as you move now. And a couple of things you want to know is we don't want to have any kind of pinching in the low back. Bridge up. If you're getting any kind of pinching, lower down or think about trying to lengthen through that low back. All right. When you come on back down, take a rest. We're going to go from that bridge into the tuck ups. And if anything's going on that it doesn't feel good to tuck up both legs together, mm -hmm. you can always practice one leg at a time where you're pushing that low back into the floor. You'll have a little bit more control moving a single leg at a time. Otherwise, both legs together in two, one, here we go. So I pull the knees to my chest and just see if I can gently lift the hips off the ground. It's on the down that you're really focused. If I were there in your living room, if you're on the ground, I'd put my hand under your low back and I would say, keep pushing, push that low back into my hand. So just imagine you don't wanna have any space between your low back and the floor. If you feel like you're gonna arch, you can always rest beforehand. And lift them up, control them down. 30 seconds in, about another 15. Nice and controlled here. It's not a fast movement. Last one, gently rock them up and gently rest down. Fantastic. 
All righty, see if you want to do those windshield wipers or maybe that double knee to chest, hugging the legs in and rocking yourself side to side. It'll take about 45 seconds to stretch. This isn't tired anymore. There you guys. All right, friends, we're gonna do that one more time and then we're gonna make our way back up to our feet. So we're gonna start with our bridges first in about 15 seconds. So knees bent, feet flat on the ground. Take a nice deep breath and then when you're ready, rock the hips back, pushing that low back into the floor and gently raise those hips up. Think about pulling the chin in towards the chest as the hips come up. And then nice and slow, bringing them back down to the floor. Good. Up and open. Knees push out the whole time. Pausing in the top. And then gently bring them on down. Fantastic. Halfway through. About another 20 seconds to go. Keep breathing as you move here. Final time. Up and squeeze the back side of the body, lengthening through that low back, and then down and rest. Fantastic. We'll take about 15 seconds and then we'll do our last round of tuck ups. Ah, a couple of nice deep breaths here. And three, two, one, when you're ready, pulling the knees, either both knees together or one at a time in towards the chest. See if you can ever so slightly lift the low back off the ground, not the low back, the hips. Lifting them up, controlling it down. And all the way down. Continue to breathe. These exercises help to prevent some lower back pain, building some strength in the lower abdomen to hold your pelvis in a good strong position, right? And then those bridges, we both open the front of the hips and strengthen the back side of the body. Good, 15 more seconds. Moving with control. My hand and my arm are so much better to chew on than this rope. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> and three, two, one, and all done there. Woo! All right. Any final stretch you'd like to do on your back? Double knee to chest is one of my favorites. Before you start to make your way back up, we're going to take advantage of being on the ground here and do another stretch or two. Just one stretch but on both sides of the body. So we're gonna do that quad stretch. Now, some of it are, a lot of times it's really tough to do that quad stretch when you're standing and we reach for the foot. So here is where, if you have that long band around, okay, we can use this band to help wrap it around the foot. If you can't reach your foot, this can help to get us a good quad stretch. All right, so we're gonna come onto our side. <laughs> we're gonna put the dog in the house in just a second. You're gonna pull the band, wrap it around your foot and you wanna pull it back. Like you wanna pull the heel towards the glutes. You can use the band there. I'm gonna excuse myself for just a second, take the dog inside and that'll give you a moment. Grab a band if you need it. All right, friends, we'll be right back. All right, so let's go back. We're gonna repeat that quad stretch if you have already started. And if you're in position and waiting, thanks to your patience. All right, bring that elbow underneath the shoulder. Got should have that top foot. We're gonna pull that heel towards the glute. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. So if you can grab your foot with your hand, that's ideal. Just nice and patient here.
And then we have the sweet old dog, Cosmo. Hi, Cosmo. Yeah, you're a good one. You don't try to attack me during class. And two, one, go ahead and release that foot. And then if you can, we're gonna swing around to the other side of the body. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Cosmo, you smell all that puppy, huh? All right, Cosmo, come on. All right, on the other side of the body. So if you're using a band, wrap it around the ankle, come on to your elbow, and then you're gonna grab this foot and pull that heel back. We're gonna hold this side for about 20 seconds. Make sure you're not arching the low back. So make sure you pull the belly button in. And you also don't want to just drop in that bottom shoulder. So think about keeping a little bit of engagement there, lifting up. Go ahead, 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, and release that foot. All right, nice work. Go ahead and make your way up to your feet. Let's grab some water and then we'll move into the next section. Right. All right, as you make your way up, we're gonna do a couple of stretches from a seated position and then we'll get into the next piece. So go ahead and make your way on up. All right. As you come up, like I said, we're gonna come into a seated position, come to the edge of the chair, and we're going to do some spinal rotation here from seated. So you're going to take your right hand to your right shoulder, left hand to the left thigh, sit tall, pull yourself around. And now we're going to take this elbow and circle it around, up and down, up and back. Go ahead and turn the eyes as well. So you're looking over the shoulder that you're rotating the elbow. Moose has learned the dog door. <laughs> it's amazing what they can learn when you give them a chance. All right, and same thing, other side. Take the hand to the opposite thigh, grab on, pull around, and hand to the same side shoulder on the other side. And now we'll make some nice big circles. Like you could just imagine you're trying to trace. It's good and yummy cantaloupe season here. So imagine you're trying to trace the outside edge of a yummy cantaloupe. Couple more, turning the eyes, turning the head, looking over that shoulder. and rest all right fantastic and then from here extend those legs out hands on the thighs think about pull that belly button in chin towards the chest and go ahead and slide on down and you control how far down do you want to reach once you're starting to feel a little bit of a stretch into the back take a couple of nice deep breaths breathing in trying to expand the back of the rib cage and then exhale come a little bit farther down one more time breathe in breathe out on that next inhale, go ahead and walk your hands up your legs and come on up to seated. Beautiful. All right, from there, make your way up to your feet. All right, once you're standing, we're gonna warm up and get ready for some deadlifting or some good morning. So we're gonna practice a toe touch first. Feet just underneath the hips, hands on the thighs again. So similar to what we did from the chair, Belly button in towards the spine, chin to the chest. Keep a soft bend in your knees. You're just gonna see how far down can you reach, allowing a little bit of rounding into the back. Reaching down for the ankles, not forcing anything. And then when you're ready, make your way all back up. Very good. Standing tall, roll those shoulders back. Very nice. From here, we're gonna wake up the hamstrings a little bit more. So soft bend in the knees, and we're gonna cross the arms over the shoulders. This will be our first set here with some good mornings. We'll wake up those hamstrings. So pulling the belly in. You're gonna send your hips back, this time trying to keep a nice flat back. Looking down towards the floor as you do so, then push through your feet and stand tall. Squeeze your bum at the top, keeping that nice soft bend. Bowing down, hips go back, looking straight down towards the floor, and then push through your feet, squeeze the glutes, standing tall. Good job. Go about three more, long spine, looking down. And then drive tall, squeeze the glutes. Good, two more, pulling that belly in. 
So on the later rounds, this will always be an option. We call these good mornings. I'm using this as a warm up for our first round. Last time, long spine, bowing down and pushing through the legs, squeeze and stand. I could also hold a weight against my chest here to add a little bit more difficulty to it. Very nice, go ahead and shake that out. From here, let's circle those hips around. So hands on the hips, circle them through. Three to five one way. Very nice. And then three to five the other direction. All right, wonderful. From here, we're gonna grab that band and do our first set of that seated row with the band. Grab the band and let's make your way back to the chair. You can also sit on the ground for this. All right. Come to the edge of the chair. Go ahead and wrap the band around one foot. As you reach out, you're going to have your palms facing down towards the floor. Keep a soft bend in this knee. And then when you're ready, you're going to pull those elbows in and rotate the palms so they're facing up towards the sky. Reaching out extending the arms, and then pulling it back and in. Think about pulling your shoulders back, lifting the chest. Good, reaching forward and back and in. So I'm gonna breathe in as I reach forward and then gently exhale as you retract your shoulders back. Breathe in, reach, exhale, row, rowing that band. Breathe in, reach, exhale, row, couple more. Last one, reach long, sit tall, chin in, pause and release. Fantastic. The next one we're gonna be doing this single arm to single knee, knee to elbow on both sides. If you're comfortable doing this standing, you're welcome to stand back up. I'm gonna demo the first round from seated. So we're gonna start in 10 seconds. We're gonna do about 20 seconds on each side of the body and then we'll switch sides. So sit or stand tall. Let's start with your left arm to your right knee. And here we go. So pull the belly in, bringing the elbow towards the opposite knee and opening from there. Good job. Pausing, reaching across and open from there. Nice. Exhale as you bring it together. Inhale as you sit or stand tall. Fantastic. Let's go full 30 seconds here. Open, breathe out, close it down, open and rest. Good job. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take about 10 seconds to reset. As you're ready, sit or stand tall, two, one. Here we go, right elbow to your left knee. <laughs> we got all the animals here today. Close it down. Hey, Cosmo, can you come over here, buddy? Good, taking it across. Come here, Cosmo and close and open. It's kind of comical. Cosmos hardly ever been around <laughs> until now Zeus, Moose is around. Good, I mean, one more, close them together, open it up and rest. Fantastic. That's cycle one. We're gonna stand up already and we're gonna go back for cycle two. So you're welcome to stick with those good mornings like we did the first time. If you want, you can hold a weight against your chest. Otherwise, I'm gonna take you into a little bit more of a deadlift next. So for the good morning, it would look just like this, holding the weight against the chest. I can cross my arms, hold it insecure, okay? Or if you're gonna join me for the deadlifts, I'm gonna recommend holding one weight. I like to hold it vertical, and we're gonna be doing a sumo deadlift, which means you're gonna walk the feet nice and wide. You're gonna have a soft bend in those knees, pull the belly in, shoulders are back, and then it's gonna be a very similar movement to that good morning. So when you're ready, we're gonna send the hips back, keep the weight close. I'm just lowering it down right between my ankles and then standing nice and smooth. Squeeze the glutes, stacking the shoulders over the hips. Very nice, keeping that weight close, bringing it down. If it's tough for you to touch your toes, don't worry about going to the ground. Take it to where your hands are about the height of your knees. Look, I'm holding it close to my body, setting those hips back, pulling that belly button in. Smooth the stands, shoulder stack over those hips. Fantastic. Staying controlled, looking down as you lower and then standing tall, looking straight ahead at the top. Fantastic. Let's go one more if you feel good for it. Send those hips back, drive those knees out as you start to lower and then smooth the stand. Fantastic. 
Alrighty, if you're using some weight, go ahead and set it down. And then we're making our way back to the chair or sitting on the floor for the seated row. Doing great, friends. <sighs> All righty. If you remember which foot that you put the band around, see if you can go the opposite side this time. So I'm on my right foot. Sitting nice and tall. Remember to reach your arms nice and long, palms facing down. And two, one, here we go. Squeezing those elbows back and in. We're trying to really help to train to support our posture. So we wanna train those shoulders to sit back on our rib cage. Exhale as you row, inhale as you reach. Squeeze them together, reach it out, good. Sitting nice and tall. And you wanna pay attention to what's going on through the head. Sometimes as we pull the arms back, we'll start to lose the head forward. So keep pulling that chin in. Reach long, exhale, squeeze in. Fantastic. Right about 30 seconds in. I think long neck the whole time. Still sitting tall. So let's get about two more cycles. Reach, row, reaching out, row back and in, and two, one, go ahead and rest. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna also demo this round seated. I'm gonna come up to my feet for the last round. We're going back to our knee to elbow. We're gonna start with your right elbow and your left knee. Two, one, here we go. Pull that elbow towards the knee, knee towards the elbow, and then sit tall. So pull the belly in towards the spine, bring it across, sit or stand tall, fantastic. You can't quite get it all the way to the elbow. That's not a problem. Just bring it as close as you can. Right across, pause, open. Last time, over and across, and go ahead and rest. Fantastic. Set that side down. Continue to sit up nice and tall or stand up through your midline. And three, two, one, opposite side of the body. Breathe in as you open, exhale as you close. Breathe in, good, breathe out. Fantastic. Work in the brain, work in the body. That's 20 seconds. Work in that midline. Very nice, maybe one more here. Bringing it together or as close as you can and relax. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and come on up to your feet. If you're not already standing, let's grab a drink of water and then we're gonna go through our final round. Got one more circuit after this. All right, so either good mornings or deadlift first. And depending on what you have to lift up, you wanna kind of bring it over to your area and you're gonna set it on the ground right between your feet. You can even use a laundry basket here, uh, grocery bags, walk those feet out, soft bend the knees, make sure you're not arched in your low back. So kind of pull the belly in, keeping the low back nice and neutral. From here, sending those hips back, reaching down for your object on the ground. From here, push through your legs, stack the shoulders right over the hips. Very good. Controlling down, looking down as you lower, and then smooth the stand. Very good. So keeping it close, pushing the knees out. You don't have to go all the way down. If you feel, start to feel any kind of strain in the low back, try to stop just before you start to feel a little bit of a strain. Yep, soft bend those knees, belly pulled in, control and stand with confidence. And I'm trying to squeeze the bum at the top. Good, sending those hips back, lowering down and standing strong. Very nice. Feel free to rest anytime you need. Otherwise, let's see if you can go through a couple more cycles. Control, stand, last time. Over, up. And then obviously I gotta set it down to move on. So I'm gonna bring it back to my area over here. Still controlling down and making our way back to the chair. All right, final seated row with the band. Here we go. 
sitting nice and tall. So I was on my right foot. It might've been your left if you're a mirror me. I'm gonna go back to my left this time, wrapping the band around, palms down, reaching out. And just notice here, are you kind of slouched back on your pelvis? Can you adjust your hips a little bit so you're sitting right up on those sit bones? That's where you wanna be. All right, three, two, one. Here we go, elbows in. Exhale on the row, inhale on the reach. Broad chest. Very nice. Reaching forward, lengthen, trying to pull my elbows together behind the body. I'm obviously not literally gonna do that. I'm sure there's somebody out there that can. Maybe one of those really flexible rhythmic gymnasts or those swimmers, oh my golly. Pulling them back and in. Inhale to reach, exhale on your row. Good, we're over 40 seconds in. We'll go upwards of a minute on this one. Continue to sit tall throughout. Good, reach it out, pulling it back and in. Final time, reach, row, and rest. All right, before you jump up to standing, I am gonna demo the last knee to elbow standing, but we're gonna do a little bit of mobility while we're all still seated. So if you're on the floor per chance, if you can come onto all fours easily, this is gonna mimic a cat cow, similar to a yoga position. Otherwise, hands on the thighs, on that, and I'm walking my feet in, I'm just on the edge of the chair. So on the exhale, I'm gonna pull the belly in towards my spine, tuck my chin down towards my chest, reaching my arms long. And then on the inhale, lift the chest, slide the hands in towards my hips, look up towards the ceiling or sky. Good, exhale, roll those shoulders forward, tuck that chin in towards the chest, reaching out. Inhale, gently arch. Let's go about three more cycles here. Just move at a rhythm that feels appropriate to your body. Very nice, tucking that chin down towards the chest, sliding those hands back, rolling those shoulders back, lifting the chest. Let's go one more time. Exhale, reaching out, inhale, lift, and go ahead and rest. Fantastic. If you feel most steady sitting in the chair for that same side knee to elbow, please stay seated. Otherwise, join me from standing. We're gonna start here in 10. And if you are standing, maybe you wanna have something nearby, a wall or a chair that you can balance with. Lifting up through your midline, pick a side you're gonna start on in two, one, here we go. So pulling everything up and together best you can. Open, elbow towards the same side knee. Showing control throughout the movement. This is obviously working some balance. So this support foot is really gripping down. Good, over halfway. Elbow towards the opposite knee. Breathe in, open. Exhale as you bring them towards one another and go ahead and rest. All right, we'll take about 10 seconds. Sit or stand nice and tall. Same thing, other side. So bring that elbow up to about 90 degrees. Lift up through that midline. And here we go, reaching across and open. Balance, pull it together. Good. And this is a more advanced balance exercise. So please don't rush the progression. If you're just getting started with us, I do recommend that you stay seated for these. That support leg has a little bend in the knee, maybe one more here. Pull it together, open it up and rest. Woo. All right, if you are seated, go ahead and join me on up. Standing on your feet, we're gonna circle those hips once more. <sighs> if you ever feel any stiffness in your low back, front of the hips, these hip circles are really great to just give a little bit of relief to that area. Keep everything moving, switch directions when you're ready. <sighs> and it's a great time to just smile, just enjoy yourself. I know it feels a little bit of funny to circle those hips around, but you guys pretend that you're in Hawaii. You just landed, you got your little, oh man, my brain's gonna, your lay, that's what I'm looking for. Yes, 
All right, fantastic job. All right, next we're gonna move into some upper body work and a little bit more balance work. So those of you that were seated for that knee to elbow, don't worry, there's more time to practice your balance in this next piece. I recommend either to use no weight, make a fist with your hand, or use a very light weight. So I'm using an eight pound weight here. So I'd recommend two, three, no more than about five pounds for this movement. We're gonna be doing a tricep extension. So you're gonna stand either behind a chair, side of a couch, a tabletop works well also. You're gonna set your feet about hip width apart, pull that midline in so you're not arching the back. Support with a soft bend in those knees. If you're gonna start with the hand in your left arm, you're gonna take your right hand, support it on down for support. Good, so spine is nice and flat here. I don't wanna be arched in my low back. I don't wanna be super rounded, so flat spine. From here with the left arm, I'm gonna reach straight down, I'm gonna row that elbow nice and high, and then best as able, I'm gonna extend my elbow. Bend the elbow, reaching forward, elbow high, and then extend. Very good. Once you learn the movements, try not to stare at my screen the whole time. Try to instead look straight down at your support hand. So looking at that hand on the support, I'm pulling my belly button in towards the spine throughout. So I reach down, Row the elbow and extend the elbow. Very good. Last one. Reach, row, and extend. Beautiful. Set the weight down. Come on up to standing. Good. Feel free to start with a couple of rotations here. Loosen up that low back a little bit. And then next, we're going to go into our sway. So working some balance. Walk those feet about hip width apart. Bring the arms out to the side. And when you're ready, you're gonna think about pulling up to the belly the whole time. Shift your weight towards one side. Notice here, I'm kind of pointing my toe. I can keep that foot down if I feel a little uncertain. As I switch sides, relax the arms down, raise them back up as I come to the other side. Relax them down, come across. And if you do feel stable here, you can lift that foot off the ground, set it down, switch sides. Oops, make sure you get a strong lift up out of the hip. Good, set it down, over and across. Lift, squeeze, and rest. Let's go one more other side, over, lift, and rest. All right, very nice. We're gonna go back to that tricep extension on the other arm. So walk the feet back out. Now you're gonna hold the weight in your right hand, pull the belly in, soft bend in those knees as you support through the left. Very nice. From here, right arm reaches down. Row that elbow high, and then as able, extend that elbow back. Good. Reach down. We're doing the row as well. Elbow up, and kick it back. Good. If anything's going on that it feels too much to kick back, just stick with the row up and down. Up, extend, back and in. Good job. Remember the head position. So if you don't have to stare at the screen, Give your, don't, just look straight down. Belly pulled in, extend, extend, good. Maybe one more and take a rest. Very nice. Come on back up to standing. We're gonna do some marching next. A little bit more of some cross crawl patterns, meaning the upper body is gonna punch across the body while you keep the lower body neutral. So stand up nice and tall, shoulders back and down. And when you're ready, we're gonna lift one knee and punch the opposite arm. You don't have to lift them high, just try to coordinate and see if you can get your breathing to sync with the punch. Exhale as you punch. Inhale as you bring it back together. Good, watch those hips don't kick up. Keep it lifting up, punch and reach. Exhale as you punch. Good, maybe one more and rest. Woo All right, we have one more exercise on this series and then we're just gonna do it one more time through. So grab that band or pretend that you have a band in your hand or doing our pull aparts. So with straight arms out in front of the body, always keeping that soft bend in the knees, you're gonna pull the band or your imaginary band apart. Shoulders back and down. We wanna avoid the shoulders rolling forward. So just broad chest. You don't have to have a lot of tension here. 
Breathe in, breathe out. Watch that shoulder shrug, pull them back and down. Good, couple more. And take a pause. Fantastic, let's grab a drink of water and we'll be back to the tricep extension in your left arm. All right, nice job today, everyone. We're gonna start here in about 15 seconds. So go ahead and if you're gonna use a weight, grab the weight you're gonna use and let's make our way into position. You're gonna have your weight in your left hand. Soft bend in those knees, belly pulled in, support through the right hand. And here we go, left arm reaches down, elbow pulls high, and then either stopping there or adding that tricep extension, extending the elbow. Row, elbow in, reach, row, and extend. Good. And back. Nice. Breathe in to reach. Exhale to row. Kick. Back and in. Good. Very nice. That's just over 30 seconds. Let's go one more. Reach. Elbow up. Extend. And rest. Woo! All right, come on up. Feel free to add a couple of rotations as you come to standing. We're gonna go back to our sway. So shoulders nice and relaxed, arms out to the side. Three, two, one, here we go, pulling up. You just wanna imagine I've got those puppet strings lifting me up to the sky. Relax the arms down, lifting up on the other side. Good, so we're practicing swaying, shifting our center of gravity from one side across, to the other and training our body to adapt. Good, over and up, lift, like you get to fly off your floor. Good, over and across, smile as you move. And when we smile, we give our body a rush of feel good hormones. Woo, down and up. Good, last time, over and across, lift, pull strong and rest. All right, almost there. Tricep extensions, opposite side of the body. So right hand this time. Left hand's gonna support down, midline pulled strong, soft bend in the knees. And two, one, here we go. Reach forward, pull the elbow high. And if you want, extend that elbow back. Good, reach, row, option to kick it back. Good. Breathe in to reach, exhale as you row. It's not a big deal if you get a little bit off on your breathing. Just avoid holding your breath. Good, still pulling the belly in the whole time. Elbow high, extend back and in. Good job, we're over 30 seconds in, keep holding strong. two, one, and set that down. All right, march and punch, and the pull-up parts remain. Just coming back to neutral, bringing those shoulders back and down, arms to the side. So remember, we're gonna shift our weight to one side of the body, punch the arms across, and look to lift up that leg. Switching sides, get good support here. Punch, back to center. Breathe in and breathe out as you punch. Good, so we're practicing control here. We wanna make sure that we're not letting our hips kick out. Keep it a good support for that body. Fantastic. Rip down, reach across, moving smooth. That's 30 seconds. Whoopsie, balance can get a little bit off, even for myself. Good mental focus. Last one and rest. Woo! Just kind of dip it around, shake the body out, shift those hips back and forth, shoulders up into the ear and back and down. All right. And then all we have left, either those imaginary pull aparts where I could just pretend I have a band in my hand, squeeze the shoulders back. If you do have a band to use, let's put it to use. Walking those feet in so those toes are pointing straight ahead. Soft bend in those knees, reach the arms straight out, and here we go. Final 30 seconds of work. 
really focused on pulling the shoulders back and not rounding the shoulders forward. So you wanna think open chest position. Very nice. Close, open, breathe in to close. Exhale to open, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Give me one more. And rest. Ah, fantastic. All right, stay standing. If your water is close by, let's grab a drink. We're gonna do a little bit of a standing rotational work to help give some relief to the low back area, as well as our shoulders. Then we'll do a couple stretches from seated. All right, tough parts over everybody. So just enjoy the rest of the session here. Soften those knees, allow your arms to be heavy at the sides. And then we're gonna start to imagine our arms are like branches of a tree. And we're just trying to flow with the motion, just very gently rotating our torso, rotating the arms, keeping the arms out away from the body. Just breathe smooth as you move here. Very nice. From here, go ahead and start to allow a little bend at the elbow. So the hands will start to tap the front of the torso, just above the hip and the back of the torso, just above the back of the hip. Kind of in the area, if you know where your kidneys live, kind of smacks the area of the kidneys, your kidney meridian. And then see if you can time it so that when your arms are gently hitting your body, you're gently exhaling. If you focus on the exhale, the body will inhale on its own. Let's get a few more on each side. Nice. Long neck, shoulders relaxed. Very good. And then from here, we're gonna go back to our tree branches, arms smooth, arms long. And then just ever so gently, bring it on down to a stop. Awesome. All right, from here, let's, Give yourself a little round of applause and make your way to seated for the last time this hour. All right, coming to the edge of the chair, go ahead and sit up nice and tall and make sure you're somewhere that you're firmly uh, planted through your feet. Very nice, from here, sitting tall, bring one hand behind the head, bring to our mid back rotations. So you're gonna look to pull the belly in, bring that elbow across towards the opposite thigh. And then as you sit tall, if this is your right hand, you're gonna bring the right hand on the inside of the right knee, keep some tension against the hand, and then just use it to encourage a little more rotation. You're trying to look over your left elbow here. Breathe in, bring your elbow across the body towards the opposite thigh. Sit tall and gently exhale, turn the head and neck. Let's go three more. Breathe in, elbow towards the opposite leg, sitting tall and gently exhale. Two more. We do this to get a little bit more rotation through the mid back. If we get too stiff through that mid back, then it's gonna impact what's happening at the neck, what happens at the low back. So we wanna keep it all moving together. Very nice. Once you finish that side, same thing on the opposite side. So still sitting tall, hand behind the head. Pull that belly in as you reach across the body. And now you're gonna use your left hand on the inside of the left knee, push against one another to add a little extra tension as you turn the body, never forcing. Over, sit tall, gently exhale. Three more. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, sit tall, breathe out. Last one. And rest there. All right. And then just the head and neck. Moose gave me a really nice hairstyle. All right. So I want to give a little bit of release to the upper neck here. So we're going to breathe in, shrug those shoulders up towards the ears, and then exhale and gently pull them back and down, bringing your arms out to the sides. Twice more. Breathe in, in through the nose, best you can. Elevate up and then exhale, release the shoulders down, stretch those arms out, good. 
Breathe in, elevate, exhale, release any tension, sit those shoulders back and down and rest there. Good. And then just gently circle the head around. So chin to the chest, circle it around and just gently looking up towards the ceiling or sky. Again, never forcing, circle down and around. Let's go about three circles one way and then we'll switch. Good, one more time, nice and smooth. Down, over and around. <sighs> Good, and try to time the breathing with it here, or not so much time it, but just notice your breathing. In through the nose, gently out through the mouth. I've switched directions. I may have not said that aloud. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and turn your head the other way. We're never looking to force, we're just looking to keep our range of motion or maybe slightly encourage a little bit more range of motion. Ah, once you finish those circles, feel free if you wanna kind of tilt the head side to side. And then reach the arms out, make sure you're not gonna slap your hands against anything, reach them out, reach them back and go ahead and give yourself a round of applause, virtual high fives and thank you so much. All right. Thanks for everybody's patience with the puppy time and hope to see you next time. Please stay hydrated. Keep moving in between our sessions. And thanks again. Your body thanks you as well.